you're going to need an extra 15 minutes of watch time just from those three people to add up to that 4,000 hour watch time that you need to become monetized on YouTube. It's Megan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome and please hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more YouTube related videos. Also, give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel and comment down below any video ideas that you may have for me to do in the future. Today, we're going to be talking about ways to increase your watch time and I have eight tips for you guys. One of them is really important and will definitely skyrocket your watch time. So if you want to figure out what that is, please watch the entire video and we're going to get started right now. So my first tip for you to increase your watch time is to have a plan. And this means planning out all of your content in advance and making an outline so your videos flow and you're not just rambling on in your videos and people can actually follow along with what you're saying. My second tip for increasing your watch time is talking to your audience, not at them. And this includes looking straight into the camera and not up at the viewfinder to see if your hair is doing okay or what not. You can also do this by asking your viewers questions and asking them to comment down below or answering a poll up above. And they feel like that they have more communication with you and they are more willing to engage in you and your channel. Tip number three is to break up the shots. And what I mean by this is exactly what you just saw. I actually moved the camera already once and I just moved myself. And you want to do this to keep the video interesting. You don't want to sit in the same spot for 20 minutes talking about the same thing because people are going to get bored of that. So you want to change up the shots so you can make your video more interesting and visually pleasurable to the eye. A another way to do this is to simply use the zoom in and zoom out feature on your editing software. But you don't want to overdo this because it can actually mess up your video quality if you zoom in too much. Another option is to apply B-roll or transition slides or overlays during your editing. And I believe that this really helps your videos because it gives the audience something more to look at besides you sitting in front of a camera talking the entire time. There are actually websites that you can get B-roll from or you could just make B-roll yourself. It's super easy to do. And it gives your video a lot more pizzazz. So my fourth tip is to use audio. And what I mean by this is music and sound effects. So when you add music to your videos, it gives it another element to keep the viewer interested, but you don't want your music to be overpowering. So you want to keep it down low. I usually put it in the detached audio and put it at a level about two or three so you can hear it, but it's not overpowering what I'm saying. You also want to make sure that you pick the right music for the mood of your video. You don't want to have a happy video and a sad song because they don't go together. And next you want to add sound effects like I do with the clicking noise. A lot of people love sound effects and it just redirects the viewer's attention back to the screen and they should watch to see what is going on. My fifth tip is to use teasers and you may notice that I did this in the beginning of my video by saying I have eight tips and one of them is really important so make sure you watch the entire video and I did this for a reason. It's so that you will watch the entire video to find out which tip is the most important and in turn it will increase my watch time. Okay y'all my sixth tip is to promote your other videos and you can do this by adding cards to your videos and if you don't know what this is when you're getting your video ready to publish on YouTube studio there is a button to apply cards to your videos and this is just simply the link that pops up here to tell the viewer that you have other videos that you would like them to watch and you usually want to make these cards something that is relatable to what you're saying. So, for example, if I say sub for sub is bad, and if you want to know more about that, 
please watch the video I linked up here and also down in the description below. That way the viewer knows that you have other videos if they're interested in watching more. And then if they do click on your video, you are getting more watch time by sending them to your other video. However, YouTube recommends that you only put cards in the last 20% of your video because if you put cards in the front part of your video, people may click off the video they are watching to watch one of your other videos and then you're not getting the watch time you need on your current video. Another good thing about cards is after you post a video, you can wait a month to see the analytics on your video and you can see where people are clicking off of your video and if you can catch where they are clicking off to go to another video on YouTube, maybe you can add a card just a few seconds before that point. That way the viewer might think, oh, let me go watch this other video instead of finding somebody else to watch on YouTube. A another way to promote your videos is by using an in-screen and I will pop up mine on the screen right now so you know what I'm talking about. This is so when the viewer gets done watching your video, you can provide them with other videos for them to watch. I know a couple YouTubers who have been YouTubers for a little bit and they had no idea about this. All you have to do is go to the end screen tab under YouTube Studio when you are publishing your video. My seventh tip is to make your videos longer and I do not mean making them 30 minutes to an hour long. I mean making them 10 to 15 minutes. YouTube actually favors longer videos because you are encouraging the viewer to watch your entire video and in turn they are staying on YouTube longer. Plus this also gets you more watch time. So if you have a 10 minute video and not everybody watches the entire 10 minutes, that's okay. You may have three people who watch the entire video instead of the five minutes that everybody else is watching. And if you calculate that up, you're gonna need an extra 15 minutes of watch time just from those three people to add up to that 4,000 hour watch time that you need to become monetized on YouTube. My eighth tip is the most important tip. And if you listen to anything in this video, I would listen to this tip. So number eight is to make binge worthy content. When you are watching Netflix and you're watching your favorite show, let's say Grey's Anatomy because that's my favorite show, I tend to watch more than one episode at a time because it's so good. Well you want to do the same with your YouTube content. So to do this what you want to do is make several types of videos, see what performs the best on YouTube, and then make more videos about that specific content and then after you make more videos you need to make a playlist. YouTube favors playlists and they say if you make a playlist they promise to show your other videos as suggested videos after the video that the viewer is watching because of the playlist. And then after you finish your playlist you can actually make an extended playlist off of the playlist that you made. For example, if I make a how I edit my videos playlist and let's say I have 10 videos of that, then I can make a second playlist that extends off of that about how I make my transition slides and overlays and thumbnails and connect the two playlists so people have more stuff to watch and stuff to binge watch. Another advantage of binge worthy content put into playlists is that when you link your YouTube to your other social media platforms, you can link a playlist instead of one single video and this encourages the viewers to watch more than one of your videos, in turn getting you more watch time. So if you want to see more YouTube related content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up. It supports my channel and comment down below if you have any other video ideas for me and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and I will see you guys later. Bye.